Here is an example of initial and final value theorems applied for uh, finding the initial and final value in time domain for a given transfer function in S domain. So question is, find the time domain initial value and final value for this given transfer function x of s in s domain uh, with numerator 520 and denominator as shown here. Uh, it's a third order polynomial in the, de in the denominator. So in two previous videos I went over um, proving the initial and final value theorems and how we can find the time domain initial value of a function and time domain final value of a function without the need to find out the time domain function first. So instead, um, let's say to find the uh, final value, so to find um, final value x of t approaching infinity, which is abbreviated as x of infinity, denoted this way, um, we know the formula is just limit of um, s, x of s, when s goes to 0. The only condition is um, function need to be bounded, and both um, Laplace transform of function and its derivative should exist. And the only one to check that is to make sure that all the poles of the given transfer function should be in the right-hand side of the uh, s-domain, s-plane. In this case, when you look at this uh, polynomial in the denominator, the poles are S0, and also for the other one, you can see that it can be written as S2 plus 4S plus 4 plus 100, which um, can be rewritten as S plus 2 to the power 2 plus uh, J minus J 10 to the 2, which result in uh, S plus 2 um, minus gen J10, S plus 2 plus J10. This means the poles are minus 2 plus minus J10, and uh, this minus 2 indicate that the remaining uh, complex conjugate poles are located on the left-hand side of S-plane. So in this case, uh, we can apply. This, the this theorem is valid uh, because of the fact that the poles are on the left-hand side of the S-domain, function is bounded, um, and we can find x infinity. In this case, x at time infinity is um, limit of s times x of s. When s goes to 0, it means it's limit of s times 520 divided by s, s2 plus 4s plus 104. And uh, these two s cancel out, and of course the limit of this function when s goes to um, 0 is obviously 520 um, over 104, which is um, just 5. Okay, now for initial value, so to find uh, the initial value. Okay, so this was to find final value. And to find initial value, same argument, meaning that both uh, S domain Laplace transform of the function and its derivative should exist. And also at the same time, um, to avoid having any impulse at time zero to avoid having a Dirac delta at time zero for time domain function, we need to make sure that the degree of the polynomial in the denominator is higher than the degree of polynomial in the numerator. In this case, there is the third order polynomial in the denominator and zeroth order polynomial in the numerator, which satisfied the condition that was discussed in previous video. So therefore, because the condition is satisfied, uh, the initial value theorem holds, so x of t equal to 0, this is time domain function by the way, is uh, just equal to limit of s goes to infinity s times x of s. 
So I'm going to just write it down degree of denominator is greater than degree of numerator for the s for the x of s so this is check mark so in this case limit of s goes to infinity s 520 divided by s s2 plus 4s plus 104 s cancel out and then you can see that since the denominator has higher order than numerator when s goes to infinity denominator goes to infinity so the whole thing goes to zero okay if you're interested to learn more about how to prove the initial and final values and to see um, what are the important things to check to make sure you can apply them for a given s domain function please um, watch the two other videos that i uploaded before Thank you.